Hello and welcome to the video solution of the exercise problem Modern CPUs. The abbreviation CPU stands for Central Processing Unit and the CPU is an integral part of many of today's electronic devices. In this exercise problem we're going to become familiar with the numbers in a modern CPU. Now before we move on to the actual CPUs let's take a look at the main component of a modern CPU, the field effect transistor, or FET for short. The FET is a three terminal device consisting of source, gate, and drain contacts. Current flows from source to drain through a narrow channel at the interface between a semiconductor, say silicon, and oxide, say silicon oxide. This current can be controlled by the application of a voltage to the gate. Therefore, the field effect transistor can act as a switch where the current can be completely decreased to almost zero by the application of a suitable gate voltage or increased to some finite value again by applying a suitable gate voltage. Now, modern CPUs contain a very large number of such field effect tra transistors. Indeed, uh, a modern CPU can contain up to several billions of such, tr such transistors, which is a very large number. In the semiconductor industry, there are many companies which design and fabricate CPUs. Uh, the biggest three are in order Intel, Samsung and Qualcomm. Now, both Intel and Qualcomm are based in the United States, whereas Samsung is from South Korea. The smallest feature size of transistors in a modern CPU is given by the gate length. The gate length corresponds in this simplified schematic to this distance here. The gate length is an astonishingly small number in today's transistors, namely it is as low as 14 nanometers. Correspondingly, the oxide thickness is also very low, on the order of 1 nanometer, which corresponds to several atomic layers only. The oxide used to be, for many, many years, silicon oxide, but today it is also made from so-called high-K dielectric materials, such as hafnium oxide, which have a larger epsilon. Since this, the, this oxide layer is so thin, leakage currents are a problem. Indeed, most of the dissipated power in a modern CPU comes from leakage currents in its transistors. The leakage could, for example, occur when a voltage is applied to the gate and current flows unavoidably through this very, very thin oxide layer to a source or a drain. 